Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how to create a line from actual data and this is a little bit of a collaboration between me and one of my colleagues from physics who is working on this kind of stuff in her physics class. So she gave me this data and it doesn't really matter where this data is from. You know, when you do physics you have a lot of different simulations you can run and a lot of different data that you'll collect. So this is data from some experiment and I have them as X and Y coordinates and basically we will look at how to find the equation of a line that fits this data in this video. Now before we start let's just discuss some general facts. So data points can form all sorts of curves. So you could have data that looks like kind of these two situations and when you look at these so this data looks a little bit like more like a line than this data, but you can still definitely visualize a like good line that would kind of go through the center of both of these data sets, right? And this is like a real thing that happens with data all the time. It's not going to be like a perfect line, but like I said, we can, we can kind of come up with these lines that we say best fit this data. So this is going to be our focus for today. These specific lines of best fit. But the thing I just want to kind of mention here is that data can do a lot of different things. So it doesn't just have to form a line. So you could have something like this or something like this. So in this case, we can't see a line that would fit here, right? So sometimes this actually happens with data. So it's just a kind of a thing to know. Or if you look at like this graph here, so this is not like a perfect straight line, right? This is, this is actually curved. So this is not linear, but it's called exponential. So lots of different things can happen with data. So we're just talking about like one very small thing that can happen. But if you're interested and you want to keep studying this, there's lots of places you can go with this. And this is a very useful skill. Now, one other thing, the line of best fit is a real thing in statistics. That is like a real term. And if you used something like Excel to find the line, Excel would actually compute this statistical line of best fit. So that would be like a program that's just kind of accessible to anybody. Um, there's lots of other programs that can compute that, that line of best fit. Now, in this video, we will not have this true statistical line of best fit, but it will be good enough for our purposes. And so it's, it's totally fine. Okay. So going back to this data, the first thing that we need to do is we just need to plot all of these points on the X and Y axis. So to do this, I'm going to use desmos.com so I can have a beautiful plot that you can all very easily see. But I would anticipate that probably most of you would maybe plot by hand or, or maybe you do have like your own kind of printed out thing from this. However you plot this data is fine. Okay, so here's the data. So you can see all these little green dots, I hope. And so this looks very similar to what we were just talking about, right? So this data like already kind of looks like a line. And so what we're going to do then is we're actually going to come up with the equation of this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two points on this line that you see here. And why did I choose those points? Well, the, the reality is you can choose any two points that will allow you to draw a decent line. So me just kind of eyeballing this here, this looks like this will get me a pretty good line. If I were to actually connect them, that's a pretty darn good line. So not everything's going to fit perfectly on it, but you know, again, it's kind of use your best judgment here. It looks good enough. Okay. So after you choose those points, you want to actually note what are those actual points. And so if I use the table to help me with this, so I can, I can note, okay, here's the first point, point 0.3 and point 0.707, the second point. So again, that's straight off the table, 1.6, 1.081. So make sure that you, if you have data with you, make sure you actually reference it for those points. You can get nice and exact with your data. Don't look at the graph and say, oh, it looks like this if you actually know what that point is. Okay, so now that I have these two points, how do we create a line? A couple of steps here. First things first, you want to find the slope between the two points. And in case you forgot the slope, don't worry, I've got you. So if you've got these two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the slope can be computed with this little equation here. Feel free to pause the video if you need to write that down. Okay. So how does this relate then to our problem up here? Well, so this is going to be my x1, y1, and we'll call this my x2, y2. So just however you want to note those is fine. So now taking these points and actually plugging them into that equation, here's how that would all look. So here's my y2 minus my y1 
my x2 minus my x1. And you can compare that back to the formula. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and do the subtraction. So that is going to come out to 0.374 on top and 1.3 on the bottom. And then if I finish this division, this will give me just 0.288. Okay, so now let's note that. So we've got our slope, so our slope is here, this 0.288. So that's the first thing that we need. So now moving on, now we wanna use the point slope form of a line to actually make a line. And so what is that formula? Again, I'll, I'll remind you. So if you have some point x1, y1, and then you have your slope m, this would be the point slope form of a line. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So basically whatever this point is, you're gonna fill it in to these two parts of the equation. So notice in this case, we have the slope and then we actually have these two points. So either point can be used as your x1, y1. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So just to keep things simple, let's just choose this one here just to keep it simple so that we all have kind of the same work. So I do hope that you're actually working on this alongside of me just to kind of verify. Math is not a spectator sport, I always say, so if you actually are kind of doing this alongside me, um, you'll, you'll retain it a little bit better. Okay, so anyway, so back to this. So this will be my x1, this will be my y1. So I'm gonna plug now this into my x1, y1, and then this into my m, so here's my m here. So all that's gonna kind of line up. So again, pause the video if you need to write any of that down. I'm gonna go ahead now and plug all this in. I highly recommend you consider pausing the video and, and plugging this all in just to see if you've got it yourself. Okay, so by plugging all of that in, here's what my point slope form of the line will look like. Now, this is not sufficient. We have to keep going with this. So now we wanna put the point slope form of a line into the slope intercept form. So the slope intercept form of a line is this y equals mx plus b form. You might remember that from algebra. So M stands for the slope, B stands for the Y intercept. But honestly, for our purposes, for what we're trying to do right now, the, the basically like the thing you need to do is just solve for Y. That's the big, th big thing to notice here. Y is isolated, so if you solve for Y, you'll get your equation in a slope intercept form. So going back to what we had here, basically now I just have to solve for Y. Now, if you feel like you've got this what I would highly recommend is actually that you pause the video here and see if you can actually solve this for Y and if you get the same answer as me. If you need a little more guidance, let's keep going. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to distribute this 0.288 into the parentheses. So when I do that, I get on this side, this now becomes 0.288X minus 0.0684. And now, remember, I wanna solve for Y. That was the whole point here. So to finish solving, this side for y, all I have to do then is take that 0 0.707 and then I'll just add it to each side like you see here. And so this will drop out of course and so then if I complete the math over here, the equation that I'm gonna get is 0.288x plus 0 0.6206 and then that's it. And so from this, now you have the equation of that line that you know pseudo best fits. And you can also see what the slope is, right? So this was the slope, we found that in an earlier step. So depending on what questions you're being asked, you should really be able to figure out just about anything from either the line or from the slope. Now, if you need more review on either slopes or how to write equations of lines, I have tons of videos on that to help you kind of brush up on that. So check the description of this video and you know check out whatever you need. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.